Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red. And today, we're going to try to finish off some of the things in the beginning of the game and then go into the bigger stuff later in the game. So right now, we're doing a little qu side quests as of right now. But right now, we're going to back to uh, Pallet Town. So we're going to go there now. And uh, we're back into Route 1. And for some reason, I have a habit of going over these ledges <laughs> when I could be training right now on the way back to Pallet Town and then on the way back to Vir Viridian City. So, uh, so I'm right now we're in a wild Pokemon with a, a Rattata. And we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it out, even though we're level seven. We're a little over leveled, but hey, over leveled is good. Whoa. Um. Okay. Little over leveled is good, but still. So we're gonna take this little rat teta and kind of take him out and have him run screaming if we can. That is. So we get 24 experience points for that, and uh, we're gonna keep going, and we've run into a wild Pokemon, and it is, man, my camera is being a little pain as of right now, and I don't know why, it's just being that annoying right now, I don't know why that is, it just is. I mean, if I had it in a certain angle, it wouldn't be much of a problem, but apparently it's just being a little bit of a pain in the neck. <laughs> but we'll see how good this goes for now. All right, uh, Cedars, let's see what you got. Come on. Come on, tackle it. Even though I am really should be doing other moves instead, but me, I've just... I've told many, many people of this that I am just a attacker. Not a fender or a defender, I should say. I'm more of an uh, offend type, but I'm more, I'm not even to a defend type. When it comes to certain Pokemon that I want just for a defending type, then yes, that'll be a part of my team. But as of right now, I only have one Pokemon, so offending is gonna be a good thing for me for right now. But, but we took that uh, Rattata out just pretty easy and pretty handled, and we get 16 experience points. Not bad. But, hey, dude, you need to lose Yan out of there. Come on, man, dude. Jeez. Like, blocking my path, man. I don't like it. All right. Uh, anything in here? Sweet. All right, Cedars, let's see. Come on, it's a level three. Can you handle it? Can you?
Okay, so our defense went down. Um, so we are going to try to get some health back. But we do at some point do get Vine Whip though. But that is not until like, I think level 11 or 12. I'm not mistaken. But I might end up getting it soon, I hope. Uh, but I'm gonna take it out here, I believe, if I can, that is, and it's out. <laughs> Look at that. Little help back, which is kind of nice. Cedars went to level 8. Booyah! Alright. <laughs> I like to say certain words, and you guys can notice that. So we're gonna jump this ledge, even I just love jumping over ledges in certain games. They just, they're just fun, I guess. So here we are in Pallet Town. Here we are in Pallet Town. I, there's one thing left to do here, and then our journey begins. So if you guys are ready for that, leave a like in the, leave a like and a comment below if you guys are excited for our journey to begin after this, then if you are, please do leave a like and a comment and then I will try my best to figure out some problems with my camera, if I can, that is. And that should be just fine right there. All right, here we go. Oh, survive. How is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be a, a talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? So we delivered Oak's parcel. So, ah, this is the po custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Grapes! Gary. <laughs> what do you call me for? Oh, right. I have a, a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention. The Pokedex. Like I told you before. It's the Pokedex in the back. <laughs> it automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia, which I'm not saying it right. Survive and Gary, take these with you. Survive got Pokedex from Oak. So, we're gonna complete the Pokedex, but in this game, I currently can't complete, the, complete it very good unless I have a certain, uh, as, as, as if I have another game that goes with this that currently can trade Pokemon from that to back back and forth type thing so let me just say it's gonna be a quite difficult for me to do that so let's just hope for the best um, to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world well, that was my dream but I'm too old I can't do it. So, I want you to to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Survive. I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Survive. <laughs> oh, is that so? I'll just go ahead and go over there, even though she will just give you one just for no apparent reason. So we're going to go ahead and go over there now and get a town map. And just, you know, say hi to her, uh, to his sis. And... And, uh, go in here.
Just bear with the camera for now until I somehow fix it. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Here, this will help you. So we've got and received a town map. So this actually helped us to uh, know where to go and where to be at in certain locations. But in this game, there is no indicator on the map where we have to be. So you have to go with the flow on this game. So we'll just go from there. So, and our journey begins from here. So we start right now. So here is our wild Pokemon right in front of us. Here we go. And again, it's a Rattata. So here we go. So we're going to take on this Rattata level 3. Um, even though we're level 8, we're probably going to uh, try to level up as much as we can. So that, so that when we get to the, the next town, over to the next town, which I believe is uh, Pewter City, or Pewter Town, or something like that. I can't remember the name of this, of the actual area, but I'll leave that under wraps for now until we figure out how to get there. So, from here, we are going to deal with... Uh, this rat tat and try to level up here as, as quickly as we can. And. And, uh, let's keep on hitting this thing. And. Oh, oh, wow, even a critical hit. Thank you for that, Cedars. Thanks. I'll praise you for that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we get 24 experience points for that. Oh, in case you guys didn't know how to do this, um, in case you guys need to know how to, uh, doing, uh, certain things here, just give me a minute here, um, if I can, uh, have my camera not do that, come on, quit it. Yeah, well, being a little, little bit of a pain, and I don't like it. But yeah, don't mind the uh, the don't mind the input of the uh, uh this might do for now until it uh, until I figure out how to fix it because apparently it just have its own mind of its own self so don't mind it at all. Just focus on the game if you can, that is. But if it bugs you that much, leave it in a comment in below and I'll I will try to fix it. Okay? So here we go. Battle time. And it's a Pidgey in case you guys can't see it. Gotta deal with it for now until I somehow have a better cam than I have now. Don't know why it's giving me all the pooters for it. Hmm. Wonder. So we're gonna tackle uh, this Pidgey even though we don't have any Pokeballs, which is kind of annoying. But in the old, in the newer games, that when you get the Pokedex, you get potions. And Pokeballs all together at the same time. So in this game, you don't get any of that. You just get the Pokedex and then you just gotta go and buy some, which is annoying, but still, it's part of the game. So uh, let's just go from there and see what we can do here. 
Oh, really? Wow, that Pidgey was resistant to my attack. That's, mm. well, we're gonna take it out right here. Eh, that thing's gone. <laughs> so, that Pidgey fainted and we get mm, 23, not bad. So we're gonna try to get closer to Route 2 and then um, try to see what I can do here. But I have one thing to show you, but this is optional. You don't really have to do this. This is just an optional area. This is just optional. The reason why I'm saying it's optional because it's uh, something you can do, but you I prefer you guys not doing it because you might lose every time you come here. So beyond this is a, um, like you can see, it's a patch of grass, but this actually leads you to uh, Indi Indigo Pleto. That's just beyond here. Uh, but here, uh, your rival stops you right here. Not where I'm standing, but there's a spot somewhere up a little bit to my left. Um, he stops you right there and battles you. And he has two Pokemon on him at level 9. So, if you had, like, a pretty well-leveled team, then I would prefer to go against him. But like I said, it depends on your starter you picked, and, and whatever starter you picked is going to be strong against you. So you have to come up with something that can counter it on towards him. But as of this moment, I have Bulbasaur, and I don't have either a rock type or a ground type, or a water type. I don't have neither of those. Right here in this grass area here, um, there is some poison types. There is some flying types like Spiro. Um, there is some... Uh, some other Pokemon in here, um, but it will be good to kind of look at them here so you can see that here and just give me it. Here we go. Here we go. What is it? It's actually a Nidoran male. So... Gotta deal with it for now. Ugh, it's just my camera just being a a douche. So we've got Nidoran male, or yeah, it's a male in front of us. So this can turn into Nidoran Nido King, actually. Um, but the the stone you're gonna need to make it to that point is that um, I believe it's a Moonstone, I believe. Um, but yes, I am a Pokemon researcher. In case you guys didn't know that. And I know certain Pokemon, how they evolve and such. That if you need any help, I'm right here. Where is here, you ask? I don't know, because I can't tell you that. But if you have any questions of what type goes good against, or what, what goes what, leave it in the comments below, and I will be kindly to respond to your question and tell you what kind of uh, answer that of depending on your questions. So, like I said, I know my types. I know what is good against what, and I will tell you kindly of what goes good what to what type. So, in case you didn't know why I'm telling you this. So, like I said, leave in the comments below um, if you have any questions regarding to what type, and I will kindly to respond to your question with my answer. So, this Nidoran is actually a level 4. We do not have any Pokeballs, but it'll be a good idea to have it on our team, but we do not have any Pokeballs yet again. But I still need to go and buy some. And I believe they're like $200 a piece. So, 
And I don't think you get a Premier Ball in this game. I don't think you do. So, I don't think you can get a Premier Ball in this. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, like I said, you find poison types in here, you find flying types, but in the, when they remade this game, they put uh, fighting types in this area, so that it's easier to find fighting types right here, if you are having a hard time with uh, the gem of the head. Um, but I'm not going to spoil what types, uh, what type that gem is, but, but I might have spoiled it already, but... If you, if you already know what it is, leave it in the comments below, and I'll kindly respond saying, yep, you are correct on that type. If you respond with a wrong type, I'll say, you know what, you are wrong. Uh, but, you know, if you, if you know what the type is, like I said, leave it in the comments below. So, here we are. Um, right here, we are in Route 2. So, we're going to stop here. Uh, so if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you like this series, I'll be here all weekend doing this. But I'm only going to do this only in the weekend so that my weekdays are going to be something for me to be busy with. So I will only do this in the weekend, so I'm going to try to do as much as I can in these weekends coming in the future. So, like I said, if you, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.